That's not a hat. How to play. The object of the game is to have the lowest score at the end. Shuffle all the cards together, ignoring the different colored backs, and deal each player one card face up in front of them. Place the rest of the cards face up in the middle of the table to form the gift shop. Each card is called a gift. Pay attention to which gift each player has. Pick a player to go first. They draw the top face up card from the gift shop showing it to everyone. Then, they place it face down on the table in front of them, oriented so they can read the logo. The card back will have arrows indicating which direction they must pass the gift, to the right or left. As they pass the face down gift, they must identify the gift out loud by saying, I have a nice blank for you, filling in the blank with the object they are giving. For example, I have a nice cone for you. The player receiving the gift can either accept or refuse. If they accept, they say thank you and place their new gift, still face down, above their old gift. Now, they must give their old gift to the player indicated on the back of the card, flipping it face down if it isn't already. You may never peek at or look at a face down card. Repeat this process until someone refuses the gift. When a player refuses the gift, they say, that's not a blank. Replacing blank with any object they want, it doesn't have to be the correct one. Now, flip over the gift and see if the giver had correctly identified the gift they were giving. If the giver had identified the gift incorrectly, then they put the gift in their own personal discard pile. If the giver had identified the gift correctly, then the player refusing the gift puts the card in their discard pile. Whoever receives the card draws a new gift from the gift shop and gives it away and the process repeats until one player has collected three cards. Then the game ends and the player with the fewest cards wins. You can also play multiple rounds equal to the number of players playing, scoring one point for each card collected in each round and the player with the fewest points at the end wins. If you need to make the game more challenging, you can sort the cards by colored back and only play with one deck. Or, for a greater challenge, each player starts the game with two face-up gifts in a column in front of them.